While still on emerging issues courtesy of COVID-19, over 100 learners and teachers in Sierra County have contracted the deadly COVID-19 disease since the phased reopening of schools in November last year. According to the Sierra County Governor, who also chairs the county's COVID-19 emergency committee, Cornel Rosanga, from the 100 cases, 17 are teachers, 3 are non-teaching staff, while the rest are learners. He warns that if nothing is done to control the situation, the institutions of learning could soon be the new coronavirus super spreaders, putting lives of millions of children at risk. Siaya County is already sounding an alarm of increased rate of coronavirus infection in schools in the county. More than 100 learners and teachers in the county have reportedly tested positive between so November last year in November and January 2020. 2021. Some 17 teachers, nine, 99 students and 3 non-teaching staff have until now contracted the COVID-19 virus in Siaya County alone. CIA County Governor warns that learning institutions could be new infection grounds if adequate measures are not put in place to control spread of the virus. Strict adherence to COVID-19 health and safety protocols remains a challenge, including proper and regular wearing of masks. A multi-agency approach has been, been key to deal and manage the pandemic in the learning institutions. Continuous provision of psychosocial support has also been integral in managing the pandemic and provision of hot water and lemon to learners have also helped a great deal. The Minister of Education continues to assure safety of learners in schools. Researchers expect the reopening of schools on January 4th may cause a rise of the transmission rate by 25%. They are also projecting that coronavirus cases and deaths are likely to peak in mid-March with large numbers expected to come from schools. On Thursday this week, Kenya recorded two cases of the new coronavirus variant first seen in South Africa with scientists warning that the new strain appears to be more transmissible than earlier variants. Experts from the Kenya Medical Research Institute estimate that there will be between 10,600 and 16,800 new COVID-19 cases and 116 more deaths by June 1st this year. Meanwhile, early evidence suggests the variant of coronavirus that emerged in the United Kingdom may be more deadly, according to Prime Minister Boris Johnson. However, there remains huge uncertainty around the numbers and vaccines are still expected to work. The data comes from mathematicians comparing death rates in people infected with either the new or the old versions of the virus. The new more infectious variant has already spread widely across the UK. This even as the second coronavirus vaccine manufacturer has warned of supply issues to the European Union, compounding frustration in the bloc. AstraZeneca said a production problem meant the number of initial doses available would be lower than expected. The Fresh blow comes after some nations' immunization programs were slowed due to a cut in deliveries of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Purity Musia, Channel One News.